<sighs> Tyler Perry. What did I do to deserve this man? What did I do to deserve such an awful Christmas movie? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let Earth receive her King. Hey there, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review Amadea Christmas. So, Amadea Christmas is written and directed by Tyler Perry. It stars Tyler Perry as the title character, Medea, as well as Tika Something, Chad Michael Murray, Eric Lively, Kathy the Jimmy, and Larry the Cable Guy. And Kevin Falk is actually going to describe the plot synopsis. So, Kevin, let me cut to you, buddy. What Medea Christmas is essentially about is we focus on not Medea, but one of her friends, actually, the character of Eileen. And Eileen is someone who has a very strained relationship with her daughter. And, you know, it's really not going great. Her daughter has is keeping a lot of secrets from her that she doesn't know about. And basically, she decides that she's going to surprise her daughter in Alabama. So Medea and her drive to Alabama, where she then meets up with Lacey. And things get even more complicated when Lacey's uh, love interest, Connor's family, as well shows up and things get even more complicated and that's really all I'm gonna say. Thank you for that plot synopsis Kevin. So before I review Amadea Christmas we are gonna cut back to Kevin as he is going to give his review for Amadea Christmas and I know Kevin was very happy with this film so Kevin the spotlight is yours buddy. Hey guys, it's Kevin. Very excited to be doing another movie review with the Tiger Dude himself. So, needless to say, guys, uh, Medea Christmas, I was absolutely dreading this movie. As you guys know, I cannot stand this character. It's probably my least favorite franchise, uh, honestly, today. I've watched Medea's Tough Love, Boo and Medea Halloween, and Boo 2 Medea Halloween, and each of them have gone progressively worse as they've gone on. So, I was hoping a Medea Christmas wouldn't be as bad as those films were and truth be told no it's not as bad but that doesn't mean it's a good movie a Medea Christmas is still a horrible film it's just not as unbearable as some of the other films I mentioned were and we're gonna get into right now starting off with the cast and surprisingly that is actually one of the high points of this film and that is one of the reasons why this film wasn't complete trash because there actually are some decent performances in here Tyler Perry's not one of them I'm gonna say it right now Tyler Perry is definitely not one of them as Medea he is clearly Really just going through the motions as this character. Medea is really given nothing to do. She just kind of has her usual shtick well, where she's just very obnoxious and rude and she just throws out all these racist stuff. I mean, this is just a character that there's really just nothing to her. She's so boring. She's so one note and it's the definition of just a one joke character. Maybe it's funny as, you know, in, a, in one film, but after so many films, it gets extremely tiring and it's getting to the point where, I mean, I think Tyler Perry, he's even said he doesn't really want to play this character anymore, and you can definitely tell that here. But the one thing I will give this film, as I said, is I did think there were some good performances in here, specifically from two people. First of all, Tika Sumter, I actually thought was pretty good as Eileen's daughter, Lacey. There's not really a ton to her character, but that's one of the reasons why Sumter does a really good job. She doesn't have a lot to begin with, so she does a good job to really uh, make this character just a little bit more memorable. She's one of the only characters that isn't completely manic and isn't just freaking out all the time And I actually really did like where Lacey's character went and then Eric Livey as well as his character Connor who Lacey's actually married to I thought he also was really good. And I thought the two actually did have decent chemistry So in terms of acting I definitely will give the film this that those two performances are definitely very strong Everyone else, however, oh no, everyone else here is honestly pretty bad. Anna Marie Horsford, uh, I honestly couldn't stand. She plays Eileen, and she's just so overdramatic. Either she's, you know, really overdoing the comedy or just really overdoing the dramatic stuff, and I really just couldn't stand her acting.
acting here. I just, she says the same things over and over again, and she's supposed to be like this someone who is very inherently completely against white people and we don't exactly know why and her character I just thought was really annoying. Larry the Cable Guy shows up in this movie. I don't know why. He for some reason is one of uh, Connor's parents and he's as annoying as you can imagine. He's just very irritating. He takes up way too much screen time and once again he's pretty much wasted as a character. I don't really know why he's here and Kathy Najimy as well also is completely wasted. I really couldn't stand either of the characters here. Uh, Chad Michael Murray is in this movie and he also is completely wasted. I didn't think his character was really too good either. I thought he really did not have too much to do which is unfortunate because I don't think Chad Michael Murray is actually that bad of an actor, but he really is not too good here. Um, everyone else is just kind of whatever, like I said. Everyone else just kind of going through the motions, and that's really all I want to say in terms of acting. Now let's get to the directing and the writing, which the directing in this movie, it's just so confusing. I honestly can't tell what Tyler Perry was trying to do here, because this is supposed to be a Christmas movie, but nothing about this has the feel of a Christmas movie other than the fact that it takes place during Christmas and there's some Christmas songs. Everything else going on here just feels like your typical run-of-the-mill Tyler Perry film. You got family problems and all these race relations things and none of it's interesting. None of it. There's really nothing of interest going on in this film. The comedy almost always falls flat. There's rarely a joke that actually did get me. There may be were one or two here or there, but that's only because of the delivery from these actors. Uh, other than that, I thought the comedy just really fell flat here. I really couldn't stand it. And the, dr the drama in this movie also feels so out of left field because most of this movie is a comedy, but there's a lot of drama in there, and it just feels so random, and it doesn't come in the right time. It just, I don't know really what Tyler Perry was trying to do here. He takes it way too far. That's nothing compared to the writing, because writing or lack of writing, because there really isn't much of a story here apart from what I told you. As you guys could tell, I was kind of struggling with what the plot of this movie actually was because there are so many scenes in this movie where nothing is happening. Literally nothing. I mean, they're just repetitive scenes of Larry the Cable Guy teaching Medea how to like milk a cow and it's not funny. It just, it feels so random and it feels like filler. There's so much padding in this movie. And again, I think it's because of the fact that this feels like a play. And I understand that there was a play of this that is a completely different story from this movie and it honestly really did make me wonder how much better this movie could have been if we actually got that story because the story here it just feels so lacking and it feels like you know Tyler Perry just came up with a random story and he just threw it in here so he can make a Medea Christmas movie and that's really it honestly to be honest with you I have no idea why Medea's in this movie because she's given like nothing to do most of the time this movie she's pushed to the side I would wouldn't say she's underused necessarily. If anything, she's overused, which Medea's always overused. In this film, I just don't know really why she's here. I think you could have just, Tyler the Perry could have just made a typical Christmas film and not put Medea in it, and the film would have gone the exact same way, because other than Medea, there are no other characters from the Medea franchise in here. Thank God they're not here, but none of them are here, and it just feels so bizarre. I don't know why Medea's in this setting. I don't know what she has to do with with anything going on in this film, uh, she's just kind of thrown in there, and there's no reason, uh, the only reason I think they put her in there is for the comedy, because Medea is a character that is always in the comedies, and I think that's the only reason he put her in there, which I don't understand. Perry's made comedies before that don't feature Medea. Why did he put Medea in this movie? I have no idea. Let me just say, when we eventually find out the reason why Eileen actually hates black people, I mean, hates white people, it's not a bad reason, I will say that, but it does not belong in a Christmas movie. I mean, it gets way too dark and way too serious. 
But in, even in the serious scenes, the tone isn't meshing well because there's a scene that's supposed to be really serious and yet they're playing this comedic music and I don't know what they were really thinking here. It didn't make any sense whatsoever and it just felt so random. Eventually, when Chad Michael Murray's character, he just kind of feels thrown in there. He as well is wasted. I don't know what he's doing in this movie. Uh, he just kind of is here and then he's just gone. He appears only a couple times and there's really not much going on on with his character unfortunately and it sucks because I again I don't hate Chad Michael Murray as an actor but he's just completely wasted as uh, an actor here and he really has nothing to do the cinematography here I guess is okay uh, most times it's very bland but when we're in the department store Medea's dressed up as Santa it's very colorful and nice to look at also there's a random subplot in this movie involving the character of um, Lacey and it just feels so out of place it feels like the only reason it's in there is so they could add some sort of Christmas element to the film. It involves a Christmas Jubilee, and I kind of wish that was the main plot because that actually feels Christmassy. The main stuff in this movie doesn't feel Christmassy at all. It just feels like it's just another random Medea movie that happens to involve Christmas. It really did fail in that regard to convey any sort of jolly Christmas spirit. The score, like I said, it's fine, but it's very out of place at times. I, I genuinely don't get what Christmas. Christopher Young was doing. I don't know if it's the, if it's on the editor's fault or what really went on here, but there are scenes that clearly were supposed to feel um, dramatic and were supposed to feel, you know, it, it's they're supposed to feel intense, but they're playing this comedic music, and I don't know why they went in that direction. It feels so awkward, and it doesn't mesh with what we're seeing. And then the editing to this movie. Uh, this movie, honestly just like all the Medea movies, it's way too long, it's like 100 minutes, and it honestly probably could have been like 80 minutes, there's, it's very repetitive, there's not really much going on in this film, uh, it gets very old very fast, and it honestly did feel like about two and a half hours, it really did. Overall, guys, the Medea Christmas is just another really bad Medea movie. Uh, while it's not nearly as bad as the first three Medea films I've watched, it's still shit. There, it's not anything to, you know, praise. It's not anything to say, oh, it's an improvement. It's barely an improvement because, I mean, there's some good performances in there. But other than that, this movie just completely falls apart. It doesn't work as a Christmas movie. It doesn't work as a Medea movie. I don't even know why Medea's in there. The comedy falls flat, the drama falls flat, this movie in general falls flat, and because of all of that, I am definitely going to give a Medea Christmas overall a D- Minus easily one of the worst Christmas movies uh, you could watch. It doesn't even feel like a Christmas movie and definitely, like I said, is not something to watch around the holidays uh, for anyone. Thank you so much, Kevin, for reviewing A Medea Christmas. Now look, I already said in my intro, I think this movie is awful. I this is this this is a horrible Christmas movie. I know Tyler Perry has made it loud and clear how he really does not like getting into the Medea suit, but he keeps doing it anyways, um, for his fans, for the money, but he still does it. And a Medea Christmas is honestly one of the worst Christmas movies I've ever seen. I wouldn't say it's one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but oh my god, this movie is painful. This is a painful movie. This movie seriously just bored me to tears. I seriously cannot believe this is what Tyler Perry delivered. Like, wow, you would think for a special time like Christmas, he would give a damn. And it felt like he just didn't give a damn with this film. And it seriously frustrates me. It angers me, actually, knowing he doesn't really give a damn just because he hates playing the Medea character. He really hates getting into that suit. Now, let me just go ahead and say there's a few good things about this film, you know, just to start off on the positive side. And I will start by saying that Tika Sumter and Eric Lively give all right performances they're serviceable they're definitely nowhere near as bad compared to most of the acting here but they're serviceable they do what they need to do for the script chad michael murray wasn't that bad either there's a few parts i'm not gonna lie that did make me laugh to this film's credit, I did laugh a few times.
times. The cinematography, sometimes at least, is pretty good. And that's all I can really say about the cinematography. Not a lot of it is all that impressive, unfortunately. It's really when they're out in locations, like when you go, go to the department store and like the first act of the film, the cinematography actually did look pretty good. Or when you see Medea and the others go to the school, it didn't look that bad either. It's really when they go to other locations, it doesn't look that bad. But when you go to the main house, even the nighttime, when you see these characters outside the nighttime, yeah, that's a different story. But sometimes I did like the cinematography. And I will say, and my, my God, as awful as this movie is, the ending was actually pretty heartwarming. It did actually end on a pretty nice note. Too bad the rest of the movie couldn't be like that. But, you know, the ending was heartwarming. It ends abruptly, I should say, however. But it was nice. And that's all I could say for positives, honestly. Ugh. Wow, let me just say this. I cannot believe how low uh, they really stoop with this movie. I seriously can't believe it. This is supposed to be a funny movie. This is supposed to be a cheerful movie. You're supposed to feel good watching it. And it fails on every single one of those notes. Besides a few parts that did actually give me a good, genuine laugh, most of the comedy in A Medea Christmas really falls apart. It is embarrassing at how awful the humor really is. This is just such a mean-spirited movie, honestly. Not only is this a movie that tries to be funny, but it's dramatic like it feels like the drama kind of overtakes the comedy in some shape or form because it doesn't work as a comedy but man when it attempts at being this heavy drama it falls apart i'm sorry i did not buy a single moment of drama in this film None of it is very believable. All of it feels incredibly forced, and I probably did not even give a shit about it because I don't give a shit about really a lot of these characters. I have maybe some sort of sympathy for Tika Sumter's character, who I think the character's name is Lacey, I believe it is. Eric Lively as her husband, uh, her boyfriend, I really don't give a shit. Um, he wasn't that bad as far as a character goes. The rest of the characters are unbearable. Larry the Cable Guy is in this film. And let me just say this. I actually don't hate Larry the Cable Guy. And I'm sure in real life he's a very nice gentleman. I know he gets a lot of flack. I don't hate the guy personally. With all that being said, he was annoying in this film. And I mean unbelievably annoying every single humor he attempts does not work kathy najemi is also really bad in this film and i really like her particularly for king of the hill a cartoon i actually really love i love king of the hill and she's great with her voice work in that show but with this movie no 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 my god the parents here were actually really annoying and speaking of parents Lacey's mother what kind of mother are you first of all it's pretty clear that Lacey doesn't want to be with her mother it's sad for me to really say this but I understand why she doesn't want to be with her mother when you watch this movie it makes sense but man this mother is so obnoxious she's always getting after Lacey's case and expects this and that from Lacey Lacey has to hide everything from her mother because she feels like she can't tell her anything at all yes you are dealing with that fucking generic subplot well main plot I should say but yes, you're dealing with that because it's not like we've seen that done in movies hundreds and hundreds of other times before. The actress that plays her, first of all, is awful. Her acting is not believable at all. 
one of the most obnoxious mother characters I've honestly ever seen in film. This movie is incredibly predictable. There's really no surprise at all. There's none. There's none to be had with this damn film. And like I said, I don't mind when the film is generic as long as I care, but not only do I not care about what's going on, I hate it. I hated every, almost every moment that was happening on screen. Oh, and can I mention that when we get to the third act, there's actually a scene where an argument is going on. And when this argument goes on, it turns into a Michael Bay film because let's just say you do get your explosion. And this explosion comes out of nowhere. I honestly had to laugh at that scene because I'm like, wow, movie. You're already ridiculous as it is in both the dramatic and the comedic aspects. But when the movie reached that far into ridiculousness, on top of all that, this being a very serious moment in the film, wow, does the tone not mesh at all. Oh, and Medea, as far as she goes, she's a background character. She really is not the main star. And it's always baffling when Tyler Perry is billed as the main star, when in some of these movies, he's not even the main star. Maybe when the movie started, yes, Medea was the main character. And then once Medea and Lacey's mother go a C Lacey and her boyfriend husband for the holidays that's when Medea started to become a background character she is in the film like enough but like I said she's just in the background a lot of times oh and Chad Michael Murray while I did say he was mm, all right earlier his character is wasted they don't do anything with this character he is so freaking wasted. And the cinematography, while at times it is good, most of the cinematography is so incredibly bland. Oh my word. This movie's cinematography is so bland. The lighting is really piss poor. The saturation didn't really come together. I don't know what the hell uh, the cinematographer was really thinking. I don't know if Tyler Perry told the cinematographer to do the movie in this form and that, but man, does it not come together. Like I said, when they're at the department store, it looked pretty good. When they're at this school in this one scene, which I will say is actually one of the few scenes to actually make me laugh, let me just say that, it looked pretty good as far as those scenes go, but most of it, the lighting is pretty unforgivable. Overall, I think I've said what I need to say about this Christmas movie. I hated A Medea Christmas. I couldn't stand almost a single moment in this film. This is a movie that's supposed to get you into the Christmas cheer. I didn't get that. This is a movie that's supposed to make you laugh. Besides a few moments, I didn't get that. This is a movie that's supposed to make you feel for the characters. Like you want to dig deep and you want to feel for them. Nope. You fuck that. I did not give a single shit about really any of the characters besides for Lacey and her boyfriend to some degree. The writing was awful. The directing, I forgot to mention in my negatives, was really awful too. It felt like Tyler Perry was just rushing through his direction in this film because the faster you make this film, the quicker he could get through making this film and not put on that Medea outfit anymore. That's what it came across, but the directing here is very bad. I'm going to give a Medea Christmas one big that star out of four stars. I really hated this one. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about A Medea Christmas? And are you a fan of these Medea movies in general? Be honest, I like to know. Do you like these Medea movies? Do you like Tyler Perry? Do you like the character in general? Please let me know. And I wanna thank Kevin so much for taking the time to praise Amadea Christmas. I know we both suffered through this film along with Adam Haskell, but 
you know what it was fun reviewing this with you man this is 22 tiger dude here and don't forget that i will always have tiger power